By adding a multi-step checkout, your online store can help increase the conversion rate for your store. This can also help you to reduce the cart abandonment rate for your store. So in this video, I will show you how to add a custom multi-step checkout page to your online store. And this is what we will achieve by the end of this tutorial. You see that I have a two-step multi-checkout page where I have billing and shipping combined. And then on the second step, I have order and payment combined. I will show you how you can change the text on the various multi-steps. I will even show you how you can change the color for the active step. And finally, I will show you how you can move the email address field to the top of the billing details. So that if in any case your users enter their email and decide not to check out, you can cut their emails and later send them cut abandonment offers if there's the need. So, if you want to learn how to customize the checkout page of your online store, just like this one, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. Before we get started, let's see how the default WooCommerce checkout page looks like. So if I go down and add any of these products to cart. Anyway, if you want to learn how to create a product tag section on the home page of your e-commerce store, I have a video link in the description down below that will walk you through as to how you can achieve this. Alright, that's just by the way. If you haven't added the product to cart, I go over to the checkout. And this is the traditional WooCommerce checkout page, which is kind of looking distractive. Perhaps you even want your email field to be on top so that potential customers can easily enter in their email and you can still have their email even if they don't go ahead to finish out the checkout process. So to achieve this, we need to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the search plugins, I search for multi-step checkout. You will find several of them. But in this tutorial, this is the very plugin I'm going to use, Multi-Step Checkout for WooCommerce by Silky Press. I click on Install Now. Then I go ahead and activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully, and you see it right here. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and set it up. So you can easily click on Settings from here, or you go over to WooCommerce, then you click on Multi-Step Checkout. Either way, they will all take you to the same place. Before we dive into the settings, let's first of all go and take a look at how our checkout page will come up. So I'll go to the front end of my website. Then I'll go over to Cart, click on Checkout. So this is how it will look like just by installing the plugin. You see that my checkout is now a multi-step checkout page where I have billing, shipping, order, and payment. And these are the fields we have under the billing step. Maybe you can take a look at the next step that is shipping and going to next we have the order right here next is the payment step if you are finding value so far please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on youtube and also benefit more people all right let's continue so let's head back to the back end of our website in order to do the setup the first feature you want to look at is show the login step. If you want your customers to log in before the checkout page, you need to make sure that allow customers to log into an existing account during checkout is checked under the WooCommerce settings. Let me quickly take you there. So I go to WooCommerce settings. I open it up in a new tab. Then I go over to accounts and privacy. So if this checkbox is checked, this means that users of your website will have to log into the website first before they can actually go ahead and see the checkout page. For this tutorial, I'll leave it unchecked. I exit out of here. The next thing you want to look at is show the billing and shipping steps together. So if I enable this checkbox, then I go down and save the changes. Settings is saved. Now if I go to the front end and refresh, you now see that the billing and shipping is combined and we are having three steps now. So going down, you see the shipping details right here. Let's go back. Next is show order and payment steps together. If I go ahead and enable this, 
and I save the changes. Then I go to the front end of my website and refresh. You now see that we have two multi-step checkout page where order and payment is combined. Awesome. Let's take a look at how it will come up. Perfect. Going back, next we have additional elements where you can show back to cart button. And that is what we have right here. So I leave it as checked. We also have show registration form in the login step. This feature will be enabled if you perform some settings on the account creation at WooCommerce settings under accounts and privacy. I'm not actually going into this. Going down, you have other functionality to look at. I'll leave the default for now. Now, if I scroll back to the top, I can go into the design tab. Right here under main color, I can go ahead and change the color on the active step. So if I go to the checkout page, you see that this is the active step and the color is blue. So I'll go ahead and change it to a color that will match with the colors of my team. I'll go ahead and select this green, then I click on OK. You'll be able to use the rest of the features with the full version of this plugin. So I just go ahead and click on Save Changes. And now if I go to the front end and refresh, you now see the new color on the active step. Awesome. Now under the steps, you see that we have billing and shipping under step one, and then order and payment under step two. Let's see how we can change the text for each step. So if I go to the back end, now go to text on steps and buttons. This is where you can go ahead and change the text on every single feature. I won't be able to change all these text. I just want to change one to show you how it works. So if you are running maybe a membership website, you may want to change billing to membership. Let's see how that will work. So under billing, I just remove this text right here. Then I enter membership. Going down, I save the changes. If I go to the front end and refresh, you will see that our text has changed. So now we've seen how to add a multi-step checkout to our online store. Going down, you see that we have the email address field right here. What if we want it to be on top so that if users of our website happen to enter their email address and decide not to check out, we can go ahead and capture their email and send them other abandonment offers if there's the need. For this, I'm going to install another plugin. So I go to the back end of my website, then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the search plugins, I search for checkout fields. And this is the plugin I'm going to install, checkout field editor for WooCommerce by Team High. So I click on install now. Then I go ahead and activate. After activating the plugin, the next thing you want to do is go over to WooCommerce, then click on checkout form. And in here, these are the various fields we have on our checkout page. So what we want to do is go ahead and move this email address field by clicking on the draggable feature right here and take it to the very top. We want it to be on top of first name. Awesome. In here as well, you have the opportunity to disable some of the fields you don't want. So for instance, if I don't want to see billing company, I select it. Maybe I don't also need billing address to field. So I select it. Then I go ahead and hit disable right here. See that they are now grid out. Then I go ahead and hit save changes. Now, if I go to the front end and refresh, you see that I now have the email field on top of the billing details. So with this particular feature, you can capture email addresses of your client, even if they don't go ahead to check out. So that later you can send them cart abandonment emails in order to maximize your revenue. Going back, you can also go ahead and customize the shipping fields. So if in any case you don't need any of these fields for your shipping fields, you can just go ahead and select them and disable them from here. Next, you can also, next you can also customize the additional fields. That is the field we have right here, other notes. So if you want to customize it, you just go ahead and click on edit. I'm not actually going to do any customization here. I exit out of there. So all what we have done is under the checkout fields. We also have advanced settings, which I'm not going to be covering in this tutorial. So that's it on how to add a custom multi-step checkout page to your online store. 
Alright guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.